welcome back to Game On. I'm John. Hey, Steam Sale, man. Yeah, what, what about it? That Steam Sale over the winter break, it uh, wiped my wallet clean. What'd you pick up? I got a lot of things, but more importantly, I got Payday 2. Um, I played that with you. Yeah. Payday 2 is yeah. a... Uh, that was that is quite a fun game. Oh yes, it's it's great. Uh, its content is a little. Uh, it's not very uh, family friendly, but it's still loads of fun. Why isn't it family friendly, Nick? Because you shoot cops. You you, you shoot police officers most of the time. Oh. You, you you hold up banks and and jewelry stores and and you shoot cops if they try to stop you. Why don't you tell us more about this fun game, Nick? Uh well, I will and. Because this uh, the content is not so family friendly, we made the review a little easier on the eyes. Okay. Stalk through the crowd. Then, when the time is right, don your mask and do what you do best. This is Payday 2, a fast-paced, horde-styled first-person shooter set in good old Washington, D.C. Strictly multiplayer, the whole game is revolved around you as one of four criminals running around D.C. with various compatriots committing a wide array of crimes. You can do a classic bank heist or knock over a jewelry store. You can even ruin a man's political career. All along the way, fighting the police force for every inch of ground. Though there is the option to stealthily complete a heist without alerting the police, it's a very difficult path to choose. Civilians are everywhere and you either have to subdue them or shoot them. Shooting them is a bad idea, not only because you're shooting harmless civilians, but you have to pay thousands of dollars in cleaner's fees, and it takes longer for you to get out of custody should you fall in battle. The action is fast-paced, hard-hitting, and incredible amounts of fun. Most of the time, the missions end in 20 to 30 minute long extended gunfights, constantly swarmed with enemies of various types, to heavily armed riot shield police, to snipers, to the tank-like bulldozers. An extensive RPG-like skill system between four classes keeps the game fresh as you're constantly gaining levels, money, and skill points from completed heists. Using money and skill points unlocks perks, allowing you to use equipment like C4-shaped charges, sentry turrets, and even a power saw. The inventory is extensive, with customization being the name of the game in Payday. Everything is customizable on most weapons, and the options for masks are limitless. While wholly cosmetic, Payday 2 players take pride in their painstakingly crafted masks. You can unlock masks by completing heists, and then you can deck it out with your hard-earned cash. If you like fast-paced shooting action, working with teams, and a lively online community, Payday is the game for you. The only drawbacks are that there's little to no story outside of the individual missions, and it may get a little repetitive at times. But it's still tons of fun, and gets 8 masks out of 10. So, uh, when I play Payday 2, can I expect that kind of sick dubstep? Yes, all the time. Okay. Every, every level. And the best part is, you know when like a big wave of police officers are coming because it gets down like really low and then it starts up like this weird kind of techno like low kind of sound and then the guy who's like in your earpiece telling you like everything that's going on, he just says, don't die and then the dr bass drops and then police attack and yeah. You're so. like you're like unselling me on the game. I know. As you're talk as I you're know. associating the game more and more with dubstep. <laughs> That, I mean, you gotta you gotta take it or leave it. You could just turn the music off, you know. I mean, yeah, play I could. your own soundtrack. But yeah, that. I mean, it, it's it's a fun game. Yeah, it's it's heat. It's yeah. literally heat. Yeah. The game. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I've been spending time while well, you've been playing Payday Two. Yeah. I've been playing on my PS4. Yeah. Yeah, I got uh, one of those, yeah. and um, I've been playing Assassin's Creed. Uh, Four. Yeah. No. Black flag. You would think I... that coming off of Assassin's Creed Three. Probably one of the worst games of last year. Oh my god! Or the year. I wouldn't before. say worst. I would say most oh, dude, disappointing. It was bad. I would it say was dis. Bad. I would say disappointing. Disappointing. Mm. Even if it is bad and worse, it's disappointing coming off like the series' strong points, such as Brotherhood and Revelation. Your your opinion is an opinion, and I will respect it. Okay. But we're here to talk about Assassin's Creed Four Black Flags. What is your team? It's a... Captain Pissoff. 
raise the anchor and hoist the sails, another installment in the Assassin's Creed franchise has arrived. Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flags puts you in the shoes of Edward Kenroy, a pirate captain in pursuit of fame and fortune. When your boat is attacked by a rogue assassin, you assume his identity and set out on a great adventure in search for the Observatory a mythical device with unbelievable powers. The story is much more lighthearted than the previous installment, and you get the feeling that Kenway is having just as much fun as you are while he pretends to be an assassin. He's a much more likable character than Connor, the protagonist of the previous game, whose cynicism and seriousness wore thin after several hours. The gameplay is also dramatically improved from the previous game. While Assassin's Creed 3 was riddled with poor mission design and buggy open world elements, Black Flags feels much more stable and unified in its gameplay. The strong boat combat from the previous game is even better this time around, with multiple types of ammo allowing for more tactical options. You can now also board enemy ships once you've caused sufficient damage, with Victory allowing you to ransack their loot and sink them, or adding them to Kenway's own growing fleet. Combine that with the optional treasure hunting, animal tracking, and assassination contracts, and you end up with dozens of hours of gameplay. With a fun story, colorful characters, and varied gameplay, Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flags is a high point in the franchise. We give it 8.5 Hidden Blades out of 10. When we come back, we'll be discussing the best and worst games in 2013, and our predictions for, the, for this year.